Hey there, Tyler, Theater Design Company. Gonna do a video here on our most used uh, Meanwell power supplies and TRC enclosures. Uh, there'll be links in the description on the power supplies and where to purchase the TRC enclosures. Hope you like the video. All right, so let's dive into these uh, Meanwell power supplies and TRC enclosures. So as you can see, I've got a variety of different enclosure sizes and power supply sizes. Uh, first one we're going through is the smallest one we generally do. And this would be for a small star ceiling or a really small lighting control load. Um, comes in 12 volt. They also come in 5 volt, 24 volt, and 48 volt. Uh, we've never done any 48 volt, but we have done the 5 volt. The other thing to note here is uh, we generally purchase for the DIY guy. We'll do the cable glands as shown. It can do the knockouts on the bottom. Being it has knockouts, if you have an electrician install these, they're not going to use cable glands. They're going to uh, hardwire those in with Romex or some flex. And as you can see here, I'm using a second power supply. So the first two power supplies will fit in the enclosure. The second one, you do have to drill a second hole down below because it uh, doesn't line up, but it does fit. We've used it before. And then we're jumping over here now to uh, a little more aggressive power supply uh, transformer next. Uh, so kind of just going through the enclosure, set those aside. And so this one usually takes like an LRS 200. So this is a, a passive, so not a non-fan cooled power supply. Um, you get up to some pretty serious wattage and amperage on these. Uh, easily enough to run lighting control. Uh, you can see the lighting control is over the right from Epic Sky, but we use them for uh, color beam and several other things we'll use these power supplies for. And we also use them for some automation things, gate, um, motorized doors. So again, the bigger ones have three knockouts. And they also, the power supplies have more outputs, again, in 5, 12 volt, and 48 volt. And uh, a little more venting there because uh, it is a passive one. So it's a little, kind of ugly actually, but you're not looking at a power supply. And then this is our go-to. This one, you've probably seen other videos that we've done. Uh, this takes the LRS350, which is a super common power supply. It is fan cooled, and the fan is loud, so don't mount it uh, anywhere you can hear it within a theater room definitely needs to be in the equipment room and I should note right now because this will mess everybody up it comes from the factory at a 220 voltage and you need to flip it down to the more US standard 110 120 um, and again you can see the enclosure here is uh, considerably cleaner and showing you some of the cable glands it's coming a half inch and a three quarter inch knockout half inch is best for most things the wire clip on it and uh, quick overview these are the power supplies we use from uh, for these uh, epic skies and uh, there's a link which we also use for our star ceilings and showing the cable glands so not much to it quick overview uh, majority of the links will give you all the descriptions and wattage um, you know most of you guys are going to use a 12 volt for uh, lighting control if it's uh, longer runs or like a big cove probably jump that up to 24 volts and uh, here they all are laid out for aesthetics and uh, highly recommend TRC Enclosures, uh, one of the better companies we've worked with for those. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.